So in previous video we have installed the uh, TWRP. So uh, in this video I will be showing how you can root your uh, MIUI. So I have already set up this uh, one so that I can show whether after installing it is crashing or not. So uh, what you have to do is uh, well you need a data cable and you need to uh, you need to uh, reboot to recovery. You know how to do that. So first I will turn off this device and then I have to use uh, volume up and uh, power so that it will boot to TWRP or recovery. So here it is in TWRP, so I will connect the data cable. So how to uh, root? Well, we are going to use the very popular method which is uh, downloading Magisk and installing it. So I have visited to GitHub uh, top genres forum or uh, releases. So here the latest release is uh, Magisk uh, 26.4. So here you have the APK. Once you click this, uh, you can uh, download this one automatically. So if new version comes in future, you can use the uh, latest one. So here I have this one. It is the APK file actually. So this one will be is uh, easily flashable through. I don't know why it is not booting. So after setting up uh, the TWRP is uh, not booting. So what I have to do? Well. Uh, I will again boot to fast boot and uh, try to flash the TWRP. Okay, so we are in the uh, fast boot now. So I will use uh, ADB fast boot tool. So here I have this tool. I will open and FCMD. Okay. Uh, fast boot, fast boot, uh, flash, recovery flash recovery and then I have to drag and drop this uh, TWR okay so fast boot uh, reboot recovery. these are the steps which we have used in previous video so same only now we will check whether it is working or not so it is connecting in ADB interface yeah now it is booting so if it is uh, not booting well uh, you try to flash it again so it's initial stays uh, so. Okay. and so this MIUI is so this uh, magisk I will have a copy in my device as well okay so I can uh, install it later when I require it so uh, but now what I have to do is I have to enable the ADB side load in this one so for that I have to go to advanced and uh, ADB side load and then enable this one. So device is decrypted successfully. That's why our storage also showing. Okay, so I will be doing uh, for ADB devices because we are not in fast boot. It is ADB, so debugging bridge, um, Android debugging bridge. So uh, we have the device connector now here as a side load option. So what you have to do is well uh, ADB space uh, side load space, and then you have to drag and drop that uh, particular uh, Magisk file. Okay, here I have this file. So I'll just uh, drag and drop like this and enter. Now it will be installing the Magisk uh, here. You can see uh, now the current slot is B, but it will uh, install in uh, both the slots. So that won't be an issue. Uh, now I can simply reboot to the system. It should boot. Okay, so it started booting now. So yeah, it's booted uh, successfully. So now I have also uh, connected to Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi and in the screen here, the Magisk uh, should come. It may take some time. So we'll be waiting. Right now it came here. If I open, it will ask for the full uh, this one. I will click OK. The issue is uh, sometimes this downloads uh, may not work as the uh, server load or something. I don't know. So, but uh, we no need to worry uh, because we have uh, uh, copied this uh, APK file in our uh, file manager on our device, right? So, so it may not work. So what I will do is I will go to file manager. Okay, agree and continue. Hello, hello. Okay. Yes. So um, here I have that file in the internal storage. So I will select here and install it. Okay, allow this source. Okay. 
Okay, hold on. So finally we have installed the MugWisk, so additional file required. I will select this one, direct install option and yeah, right, reboot. So this is uh, pretty much it, three steps, first you have to flash this uh, file through uh, TWRP, say, uh, through side load, ADB side load, second you have to install that application APK inside the files. Once you install it, you have to open the MugGisk and you have to flash that uh, firmware uh, file and reboot the device again. So yeah, three steps process. Okay, so now uh, see, now we have successfully installed this one. I also need to use a root checker. So I'll download root checker. So where this is uh, downloading, it won't even be showing. Again, I have to wait 10 seconds. So now I will open MagIsk first, right? So here this uh, installed is success and 2.6, uh, 26.4 and uh, RAM disk also yes. So uh, Zygist, uh, Digest, Zygist, I didn't uh, install, didn't uh, enable. So this you have to enable in order if you want to use it uh, for a GPA or some banking apps. So I have made a, a, another video so which you can watch. I leave it in the description of this video which you can watch and it will be helpful actually and all the things are done so here you have the super so access and logs and modules you can install it so now what i'm going to do i'm going to do open the root checker allow agree and it's not required if it is this one but still uh, verify so root is uh, showing so i'm granting so here you can see congrats root access is properly installed on this device so you have uh, successfully installed the root on your device that's great so yeah thank you for watching